Welcome back to Jyoti Hydroponics. Let's get started to get better at farming. We have come up with full training course on hydroponics with name Hydroponics Complete Training Foundations of Soilless Agriculture on our website www.jyotihydroponics.com. After you have the knowledge about hydroponics in and out, then go with the nutrient recipe trainings as per the crop you want to grow. Because each and every crop has its own nutrient recipe for roots and for shoots as a foliar spray. We have mentioned all the schedule as per the crop from first day to last day of harvest which includes all fertigation, foliar spray of nutrients, pesticides, fungicides, bactericides and vericides. This session is part 9 of tomato farming. Certainly, to promote flower formation, fruit development and enhance tomato size, here is a detailed fertigation schedule and organic foliar spray regimen for tomato plants growing in cocoa peat. For early flowering stage, begin with balanced water-soluble fertilizers containing both macro and micronutrients to support vigorous vegetative growth and flowering growth. Apply it every day with short intervals according to the plant's requirement and have an attentive eye on the early flowering stage. From flowering to fruit setting, transition to a fertilizer higher in phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, sulfates, nitrates and potassium in a calculated quantity by maintaining balanced positive and negative ions of nutrient source is required to encourage flower development and fruit setting. Include micronutrients like boron, iron, manganese, molybdenum, zinc, copper, etc. in a calculated quantity again to support fruit development. The reason I am emphasizing on calculated term is because we need to make sure our plant don't face any nutrient deficit issues when producing flowers and fruits because during this time the intake of water and nutrients is very high in case of tomato plants. So it is very important to manage the calculated quantity for the plants to sustain and produce high yield with no deficiency issues in the plants. This has to be our main target. Now comes the fruit development stage. Continue with the fertilizer rich in phosphorus and potassium with a calculated quantity again to support healthy fruit development. Introduce a calcium rich fertilizer to prevent blossom end rot in fruits. Implement a potassium rich fertilizer to promote larger fruit size which I'll show in the upcoming videos in next sessions on this channel. Continue monitoring calcium levels to prevent fruit disorders. Next comes is your organic foliar spray schedule. Use foliar spray with seaweed extract or fish emulsion, humic acid, amino acid sprays specifically for flowering and stress busters foliar spray to increase the immunity for tomato plants to avoid drop of tomato flowers and a phosphorus booster with organic acid sprays to enhance flowering and fruit initiation with a boost in plant immunity as well. Include organic amino acids and micronutrients foliar spray schedule accordingly. Apply foliar sprays with macro and micronutrients to enhance the flower production with fruit conversion. Include stress relief sprays containing amino acids, vitamins, seaweed extracts during period of environmental stress. Rotate neem oil, insecticidal soap and other organic pesticides every 7-10 to 10 days to control aphids, mites and other pests. Apply a copper based or organic fungicide every 7-10 to 10 days to prevent fungal diseases like early blight, powdery mildew and other issues. Use garlic or neem oil based sprays for additional fungal and antibacterial properties. 
focus on preventive measures as organic options for viral control are limited. Maintain proper plant hygiene and control insect vectors to reduce the risk of viral infections. Prune excess foliage to improve air circulation and sunlight penetration. Provide adequate support for the growing plants to prevent fruit dropping. Maintain consistent substrate moisture levels to avoid stress. Ensure proper drainage to prevent waterlogged conditions. Adjust the schedule during extreme temperature conditions for optimal nutrition absorption. Regularly monitor the plant health and adjust the fertigation and foliar spray schedule based on plant response. By following this comprehensive schedule, you aim to provide the necessary nutrients and protection to enhance flower development, fruit setting and increase the size of your tomatoes while minimizing the risk of pests and diseases. With this, you need to make sure that you have a keen and attentive eye on pH levels, EC levels, TDS levels, temperature, humidity, VPD. And we have covered all this in our training sessions where you can learn complete in and out of soilless farming strategies and concepts. Also, you get the complete schedule of nutrient recipe for roots and shoots with the foliar spray recipes for all nutrients and schedule of stress release and immune booster foliar sprays as well. This complete nutrient and foliar training are crop specific as each and every plant has its own science. So we have come up with complete schedule of fertigation and foliar spray recipe and schedules from first day to last day of harvest for most of the crops, which we have practiced for years. And after we got the best result, only then we are sharing it with everybody. And this would really bring the cost of doing farming in hydroponics almost equal to the cost same as in traditional farming. But for this, you will have to be very careful with the humidity of environment and substrate temperature of fertigation water and substrate, pH and EC of fertigation water and substrate, temperature of plant and environment and many other strategies which we have covered in our course hydroponics complete training foundations of soilless agriculture on our website www.jyotihydroponics.com I can assure you that that you can get your most of your doubts cleared at one go and would definitely love and understand the training sessions very easily. We will end this session here for today and see you in our next session. Till then, happy farming, goodbye and have a nice day.